Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. This is a short tutorial showing you how to safely store your chain link offline using the Tracer Model T and the Tracer Desktop Suite. In this demo, I'll show you how to set up the chain link token in the Ethereum token section on the Tracer Desktop Suite. And then I'll show you how to receive chain link and how to send it back to another address. So to start things off, you're gonna need your Tracer hardware wallet plugged into your computer and you're gonna be, need to be on your Tracer desktop suite. And then once you've done that, you can be in the account section of your desktop suite and then be in your Ethereum wallet. And then once you're in this section here, you can just go on over to tokens and you can see I have uh, Dai and Matic already here. What we wanna do now is we wanna add the chain link contract address. That way we can see it in our Tracer desktop suite. So at this point, you're gonna to go to the triple dots here in the top right hand corner, hit add token. And now we're going to paste in the chain link contract address. Where do we get this? We're going to go on over to etherscan.io and I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to alt tab here and I'm on etherscan.io and I'm going to type in link, which is the short form for chain link. And you will see the contract address show up here and it's verified. And now I can just hit copy address, head back on over to tracer desktop suite, bring this window up again, hit paste contract address, and then hit add token. And now you can see Chainlink has been added to my Ethereum wallet. Now all I need at this point is my Ethereum address, and then we can withdraw our Chainlink tokens from the Medal Exchange to our Tracer hardware wallet to be safely stored offline. So now we just need to hit receive, and then hit show full address. And then we're gonna go to our device and just double check that this address here is the exact same that is on our device. And once that is the same, you'll hit the green check mark. Once you hit the green check mark, you'll be able to hit copy address and it'll say copy to clipboard. And now we can head on over to Mandela Exchange where I currently have some chain link that I want to withdraw to my device. So I'm just going to hit alt tab and we are back on Mandela Exchange where I currently have 8.19 link. And now we're going to withdraw that to our Tracer Model T. This is supported obviously by the Ethereum network and we are on our Ethereum wallet. So we're going to make sure that we are on this network right here. And then we're going to paste in our withdrawal address, the amount we want to withdraw. I'm just going to hit max and then submit for withdrawal. All right, now our withdrawal request has been submitted now and we can head back on over to our Tracer desktop suite and wait for our link to arrive in our wallet. All righty, and our link has arrived in our Ethereum wallet here on our Tracer Model T. So now if we'd like, we can just unplug our device and we can safely store our chain link offline and nobody can touch it. We've now taken custody of it, it's in our control and now it doesn't move unless we say so. So now if we wanna send our link back to the exchange, all we need to do at this point to reverse the transaction is go to send and then go to amount and you will switch from F to link. And now all we need is a wallet address to put in here. So I'm gonna just go back on over to Mandela exchange, copy my deposit address, paste that in here, and then we can send this transaction. So I'm just gonna alt tab real quick and we're back on the Mandela exchange and you can see I've selected the Ethereum network, which is the network I'm using. I'm gonna hit copy address paste this address in the window here, and then convert this to checksum to make sure it is correct. And then I will hit send to max, and then I'll just keep the fees to normal here, and then hit review and send. And then on my device, we're gonna need to confirm this transaction to make sure that everything is the same on this screen as it is on my device, which it currently is. So I'm gonna hit the green check mark, and then I'm gonna hit hold to confirm to send the transaction. And then once it's confirmed on my device, we can hit send. And then now my link has been sent back from my Tracer Model T, my hardware wallet, to the Medal Exchange, which is a hot wallet on a centralized exchange, and it is back in their control. So I've taken custody, I've shown you how to do that by receiving tokens, and then I've given the custody back to the centralized exchange by sending my chain link back to the Medal Exchange. And that's pretty much it for this demo. I've shown you how to add the contract address for the chain link token on your Ethereum account on your Tracer desktop suite how to receive and send chain link. And once again, that's pretty much it. So if you're enjoying the content you're seeing on this channel, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks and take care.